Welcome to DarrowChin.com. Today we're going to take a look at a keyboard. This is from Re, and it is labeled as a three-color LED backlit multimedia gaming keyboard. All right, so with that out of the way, let's go take a look and see what's in the box. So we cover off, and we can open this guy up here. Voila, okay. So let's get this guy out of the box. So right off the bat, it is a corded keyboard, as you can see. With a generously long USB cable. And not much else. So I'll get this guy out and we'll put the box away and see what this is like. Alright, so what do we have here? So it's a... Uh, Got their branding over here. A nice clear num lock, cap lock, and scroll locks. The keyboard, it's got uh, you know, spacious keys. Uh, and they, you know, basically this is not a mechanical keyboard. Uh, they, they say it's a gaming keyboard. Um, and they kind of have the characteristics of what a mechanical keyboard is. As you can see from, I lift it up in the corner here, you'll see that the, the keys are raised, sort of like how a mechanical keyboard is, but this is not a mechanical keyboard. Uh, so, yeah, so we can see that uh, how the keys kind of uh, push in, and they have that kind of lift to simulate what a mechanical keyboard is like, but obviously for a fraction of the cost of what a mechanical keyboard goes for on the market. question is how well it performs and what the colors and stuff look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I'm going to plug it into one of my gaming devices and we'll see what this keyboard is like and we'll give it a go. Alright, um, I tried to cram as much into the camera space as possible to keep it relatively you know, viewable. And so here's the re-gaming keyboard. I have my Corsair K65 over here and I have an older Razer Black Widow keyboard. So we'll take a look and just compare physically what the keyboards are like before plugging them in. So um, obviously these are much more expensive keyboards down here. Uh, the, the K65 is uh, in the range of about $100 or less around that range. This uh, older Black Widow, I'm not sure what, the, what they go for nowadays. I had this one for quite a while. But, you know, so we'll take a look at this one first. Now, obviously, this one has, you know, a full, full QWERTY keyboard. It's got the, the, um, I'm not sure which level of, of, uh, mechanical keys they are, but they have the, uh, wonderful click that a lot of folks like about mechanical keyboards. You know, it's a, it's a very hefty keyboard. You can see that it's quite sizable, and, you know, it, it is pretty heavy. And the, this one was a, a simpler one, because it's an older one, it's simpler. Uh, it has the feet at the bottom. Uh, for raising the keyboard itself, and then it has a single nylon braided uh, USB connector at the very end. Uh, and this one has function keys up on top, as well as programmable keys on the side, and this one has no backlighting. But, you know, these keyboards were substantially more expensive uh, than, say, the Re, for example. Now, looking at the K65, K65 is a shorter keyboard, a shorter mechanical, it doesn't have the numeric keypad on the side, but it is backlit, and it's programmable backlit. Now, it has uh, different levels of keys for brightness, and uh, there's software to program it. it. has the volume, volume keys as well here. Um, you know, the, the has a wrist pad that can be taken off, if you so wish. On the back side, we have the feet to, to ex extend the keyboard upwards if you need more space. Now, this one doesn't have the same uh, level of clackiness as the Razer uh, here, but um, you know it's actually a very nice keyboard. It's got a big, thick cable here that actually goes into this big, large thing at the end over here that is for either the USB 3 or a combination if you don't have USB 3, and it, like I said, it is programmable. But also, this is quite a little bit more expensive. But if you compare it to, say, the, the Re here, the Re has, is interesting, it's not a mechanical keyboard, but it kind of starts to simulate the feel of one. So you can tell from here the keys are raised, similar to, say, how uh, the keys are raised on any of these type of mechanical keyboards, these gaming keyboards here. And uh, so it has a good feel to it. It's got uh, 
good good key travel, very similar to how these have more key travel. Mechanical keyboards obviously have a lot more key travel, which uh, you know a lot of gamers like because it, it feels a lot nicer to game with. And so this this keyboard, you know, even though it's not mechanical, does a, a pretty nice admirable, admirable job of simulating what a expensive keyboard can do. Now, you know, obviously, you know, with low, with lower price tag, you're you're sacrificing some of the things like these, you know, the nylon braided cords and stuff, and extra connectivity and programmability. But you know, it goes into a single USB port here, and it support, supports three different color uh, lights and some leveling for the colors as well. So, so that's just a comparison of what you're going to get yourself into. Now, obviously, you know, lower price point, they look it looks good, feels pretty good. I mean, obviously, it's going to pale in comparison to these really more expensive gaming, dedicated gaming keyboards. But, you know, if you don't need all these extra frills, um, then something like this might might be something in your budget. So, let's go plug this in, and let's take a look at it on uh, a gaming system and see what it's like. Alright, so here I have my Dell XPS 15, my little gaming laptop. Uh, and I have the Wii keyboard in front of me. So I'm going to plug this in. I got uh, Fallout 4 ready to me, for me to run, and we'll just do that. So I'm going to plug this guy in first so I can get it going. I'm going to find the right port to plug it into. Oops, upside down. There you go. All right, plugging in. Simple. Lights up. So let's turn the lights off real quick just to kind of see what the what backlighting looks like. So see, it's uh, I got the red over here going. If I look it up. So it's nicely illuminated. All the keys are very clearly visible. This little button down here, over here, my, I'm kind of blinking off and on here, is the color. So you can go to blue. All right, so you can see the, the blue coloring over here. And one more time, you get the purple. All right, so there's that. And then, of course, off. So, you know, we'll use red for now. The interesting thing is you, you have these up and down keys here. Uh, there's an FN function for them with that that I control the illumination or the level of illumination. So I hit this, oops, wrong key. Hit the FN key here, and kind of go down. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the maximum, and then one, two, three, four, five, and it's off. So I'll leave it a maximum brightness for now. So you can see the layout of the keys here. All right. So let's go launch the game. All right, so uh, I'm up lighting a little bit so you can actually see uh, see my hands and see me using the keyboard. Um, and once again, I got Fallout 4 ready to run. Uh, just before going into it, I want to talk about the key layout because I know some folks may or may not be turned off by this setup. In particular, is the bottom row. Um, if you can kind of see from here, uh, the bottom keys are you got a Control Win Alt and then Alt F N with the lighting key and a control. Now, that's a little bit different than, than typical keyboards, which we may have a control alt windows and then um, you know, alt control uh, or the FN key uses on this side as well. So, it, it, you know, some you know, different manufacturers will play differently with the, the bottom row of keys. It could be an issue for some folks if you're used to hitting like to the FN or the control here on whichever spot, uh, as, as opposed to also hitting the Windows key in this spot as opposed to the alt key. So, it could be distracting for some folks, just something to consider. Uh, but you know when you're gaming that may not be such an important issue so gaming you actually may want to have these keys set up this way and not have to worry about it so all right let's just go and run I, I also propped up the feet you see the feet over here I propped them up so I can kind of get the keyboard a little higher up so you can kind of see the keys uh, put them I'm gonna prop this thing up on top of my laptop so you can have a better view of that so I'm gonna start this game and we'll give it a Give it a, a run through and start it up in the background for me. And I'll get the volume here. So, and all right, I'm in. So, there's Curie running around over here in the vault. So, you know, motion seems pretty good. So let's see if I can go someplace more interesting than this place. Uh, let's see. Oh, where's a good spot where there's lots of bad guys that I haven't cleared yet, maybe. Ooh, I don't know. How about, uh, oh, let's just go here. Let's see what's out over this place.
you can see from here also that the WASD keys are actually a little bit bigger and highlighted a bit more. You got bolder font as well as directional arrows on those. Wow, so I want to blow this part. There we go. All right. Okay, so is anybody here for me to shoot at? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, that's somebody over there. All right. That's one guy. Okay. You might be alone. Yep. Who's there? All right. So shoot over there. Okay, well, it's not much of a big fight. Hmm, it's all to you guys. That's kind of lame. Okay, well, so I see you playing keyboard here. It's not too bad. All right, let's get let's get out of the Fallout all together and let's go to uh, let's go to a uh, game that may be a little bit more action packed. If I can get uh, whoa, hello. All right, how about good old Borderlands Two? That's a uh, that's a uh, Good staple there. Run that. To be honest, I got no idea how to get past a door that'll only open for Jack. Sorry to interrupt, but we have little time. Get to the city of opportunity. To breach the final door to my chambers, you'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bioscan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in opportunity, I can get you through that door. No, not this weapon. Where is that guy? Oh, there he is. So yeah, there he goes. Playing it isn't too bad at all. You know, I haven't noticed any particular lag issues in besides whatever the game engine does has to give me. And the fact I'm a lousy shot from distance. Alright, there we are. So, alright. So let's just get out of this. All right, so that's just playing gaming uh, with with this uh, this device or this keyboard. And it games perfectly fine. I don't really notice anything particularly good or bad or wrong with it. So so it works. Okay, so the one last thing I want to do tonight is basically you know, go over just typing. Because obviously gaming is one thing where you're just smashing the WASD key and maybe some number keys and some other keys on this side of the keyboard and spacebar. There are going to be times that you want to actually type something, you know, because you don't want to change keyboards so you can write documents or send emails, for example. So how does this keyboard perform in that task? So I got my I can Microsoft Word running here and so we can do some typing. Oops, that's my poor typing capability. I've gotten used to using very shallow keys, so going to a mechanical keyboard or a raised key uh, keyboard like this, a little bit of rough for me. Uh, so. Go. and then basically you have the numeric keypad so if you're doing excel or number crunching type of things it's nice to be able to have that you have the home end page up and page down functions uh, insert and deletes they're all there uh, so it's really nice it's actually a really nice keyboard it actually feels pretty good and once again the major draw uh, major benefit is the fact that it's a it's a relatively low-cost keyboard that looks like a gaming keyboard gives you some some uh 
some some wiggle room some play just like a mechanical keyboard uh and um so yeah it's it's it actually is quite a nice little keyboard uh you know once again you don't don't expect you know premium uh level uh quality from like say something like a like a uh, razor or a corsair but um if you're looking for something simple to use this is not a bad option so if there's anything you want to see or something i haven't shown yet you know, feel free to send me some feedback uh, and please like the video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching